I quickly wanted to talk about the Spotify wrapped and how much of a normie thing it is and how I'm so happy that it's not something I've ever flipping entertained. I don't know, maybe because I just don't care what people listen to or maybe I just don't care to share my highlight reels of the things I'm into. But I never understood how hyped people get for shit like Spotify wrapped. But I think maybe Spotify wrapped is like the equivalent of like being into Taylor Swift music. It's just something that normies do and something that the general public just loves to do and they tap into it because clearly I'm one of the only people that doesn't share this sort of stuff. But I've never understood like why it's become such a, a cultural thing to kind of take part in and share your fucking taste and shit because the funny thing is really when you watch people's fucking um, Spotify wrapped, usually it does kind of um, go against what they preach about online, right? You'll see somebody say they hate Drake a lot and then they'll post their Spotify raps and it'll be nothing but Drake on there. So it kind of proves that people just talk a lot of shit. Fair enough. Um, it also proves that people don't really have much of a broad music taste. It's usually just the same type of artist like five times. Fair. But also, I don't care. Like, I really could care less what people are into and what they listen to and what their habits are online. And there's a part of me that also is a bit cynical and feels like, there's an option for apps like Spotify to finagle the stats behind the scenes and purposely manipulate statistics and numbers how stuff is represented and how it's played. Because if I'm not mistaken, Spotify Wrapped only allows you, if I'm not mistaken, it's not like downloaded content. It's like stuff you have to stream. And I download a lot of my content, especially when I'm listening to it on fucking Spotify. So I can have it listen to I listen to it offline. So because my net my fucking mobile network's a bit shit. So I can usually have it just on my phone. So if I'm listening to a lot of stuff offline that isn't exactly stream, it makes it difficult. And then of course my Spotify wrapped isn't the best reflection of what I listen to because I listen to Spotify differently than I listen to Apple Music. And one of those weirdos that has both services, right? I pay the subscription for Spotify and obviously for Apple Music. But I listen to different stuff on each one. I'd probably say my Spotify is probably more, you know, indie and electronic music and dance music based. And then my Apple Music is everything else. So it's kind of hard to have it reflect my actual musical taste and what I actually get up to. It's just one of those things in there. So I've never really understood why people actually give a fuck about it. But spare a thought for people that work at spotify because imagine the spotify rap thing happens and i think it's usually i'd imagine if you're working at spotify spotify rap is probably like a celebration time because it's time for them to maybe you know roll out some new features they've been working on product wise it's a time to celebrate people's you know listening and what they've been up to celebrate the music that's been out there the fans blah 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 the customers duh, 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 duh. imagine if you're a spotify employee and then you put out wrapped and then this was what happens Spotify laid off 1,500 employees just before Christmas. <laughs> Can you imagine how brutal that is? Everyone's celebrating their Spotify. Right? Everyone's posting their fucking posts online. And here you are just reading over your fucking, you know, redundancy email. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. 1,500 people have been sacked from Spotify. 70% of their company staff, right? The article calls it of engagement. Spotify is cutting jobs for the third time this year. Even though I think, the, didn't they report record profits? So imagine, they're recording rec record revenue profits and all that, whatever, whatever else it means, right? But they're still cutting people in the background. That is the quintessential mark marker of capitalism. Because I'm assuming they probably have to, you know, answer to their shareholders and demonstrate that they are growing year on year. And what's the easiest way to kind of cut costs and to show that you're actually growing as a company? You guessed it, you cut fucking staff. That's the easiest way because payroll is, you know, usually exorbitant in most places. It usually accounts for most of your fucking spending. So you cut 1,500 jobs. You then convert that money that you saved <laughs> from 1,500 jobs. You add that to your year end reports. And then suddenly you have year on year growth, which is insane, really. What well, these shareholders and board people want to see growth at all fucking you know at all cost year on year there's no such thing as stagnating if it stagnates or if it's flat or if it's the same they get fucking upset so it's really 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 awful it continues um in a pre-holiday shocker spotify is laying off 1500 workers or 70 percent of his workforce ceo daniel eck announced in the press release on monday the cuts are being made due to what X called the challenges ahead <laughs> i love how the challenges never impact you know um what do you call it? The the C suite, executive suite, the board, right? It always affects the the fucking minions below. That's who it affects. Um, affected employees will be notified later today. The quote: 
I realize that many, um, for many, a reduction of this size will feel surprisingly large given the recent positive earnings report and our performance, X wrote. We debated making smaller reductions throughout 2024 and 2025, yet considering the gap between our financial goal state and our current operational cost, I decided that substantial action to right-size our cost was the best option to accomplish our objectives. While I'm convinced this is the right action for our company, I also understand it will be incredibly painful. That's just corporate speak for I pick the profits and I pick the bottom line over my staff or over my employees over my team members whatever that's just a straight up like i'll pick the profits all day long i pick my life i pick my safety i pick my kids private schools i pick my house on the fucking uh, you know i pick my lakeside house i pick my apartment my fucking penthouse suite in miami over you guys that is fucking crazy isn't it like that 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 line there is definitely the brutal one yet considering the gap between our financial goal state and our current operational cost <laughs> i picked that one <laughs> it continues x went on to note that the company expanded considerably in 2020 and 2021 due to the lower cost of capital these investments generally worked contributing to spotify's increased output and the platform's robust growth this past year and despite reductions made last year the company laid off six percent of its workers early in 2023 and two percent in may our cost structure for where we need to be is still too big so they hired massively because they wanted growth, they wanted to show, because that's the thing with companies, really annoying, especially having working, you know, I've worked in a few startups myself and shit, and just corporate, in, you know, most people have worked in corporate industries like that, but the issue is this, most likely in startups, to get more funding, you have to demonstrate you're growing, and one way to demonstrate you're growing, is to just hire loads of staff, because the thinking is that the, you're hiring staff because you need them, right you need them because of how you're growing and then when you grow and you hire these stuff they might then uh, you know help you to achieve certain things to roll out certain products certain services whatever reach more customers and then that'll add to your bottom line but also rapidly growing that way and hiring more people could also be a a bit of a poison chalice because it ends up kind of you know putting more light and more focus into what you're actually doing and what you're actually achieving or the lack thereof and then if it doesn't match up sometimes the person to get the fucking call or to get the fucking the net cut off is definitely a head cut off sorry is definitely the fucking lowly staff it's really unfortunate following uh follow these rounds of layoffs spotify had around nine thousand employees so the latest cuts will be will see around 1500 employees lose their jobs 4300 of those jobs were in the u.s as of 2022 to soften the blow <laughs> to soften the blow they go uh, I, are they going to give him free spotify for the, for the rest of their lives to soften the blow spotify will pay an average of five months severance that's pretty decent isn't it what do you usually get i think in the uk severance is calculated is every year you work is a month i think usually i forgot what term it is but in the uk your severance is like once you pass your probation and you pass a certain um you know time at the company every year you work adds a month to your overall severance or your i guess whatever the pay is not severance whatever it is i think that's how it works in the uk um x said that the company's next phase um being lean is not just an option but necessary last month spotify announced a revamped royalty model which is supposed to give the working artists a bigger cut while reducing free uh, fraudulent streams spotify has seen consistent growth since last launch and now counts 574 million active users up to 26 percent over the past same year the company has also struggled to make profit though with its latest um with its last quarter being a rare exception it promised more information about the changes will mean in the days and weeks ahead it's interesting how they're not able to make a lot of money in it maybe they again yeah, maybe it is a bloated company maybe they are they've got too many people working there that does make a lot of sense but spotify europe is like a holiday my year exactly yeah i don't I don't really understand. I don't really get it. Um, I really, okay, really? Calc20 in the chat is saying, in the States, you're lucky to get any severance. It really is job dependent. Fucking hell, that's brutal. Um, I'm surprised by all of this because, I, but my, my thinking again, this is maybe a bit of a stretch, but I'm wondering if all of these cuts in startups and stuff and companies is a direct consequence of Elon. 
because I feel like ever since Elon took over Twitter and turned it into X and decided to get rid of, I think like was it like ninety percent of the staff or something, eighty percent of the staff? Like he he went in with a fucking axe. He went crazy. And again, maybe he had a lot more of a reason to because it did seem like Twitter did you know they were basically overstaffed they didn't need to have that many staff to run that kind of company or that kind of service or product or whatever and they cut loads of people and the fact that now these companies are seeing how well how well twitter's doing you know relatively in terms of it's still alive maybe that's the reason why all these companies are deciding to fucking you know to cut all their staff maybe they're deciding you know what if he's able to run this company with a very lean um you know staff base maybe we can do the same thing too we don't need to be hiring just for the sake of hiring it doesn't make any sense so maybe that can maybe there's a main reason why everyone's doing it now um which is really unfortunate to be fair but hey what can you do um big up everybody that got let go again you know i can't you know i've been there before when you get let go before christmas it's absolutely brutal there's no good time to ever let get let go but if there's one worst time to get let go it's definitely somewhere around your birthday <laughs> before a holiday like an actual vacation you booked or before christmas i think those are brutal right your birthday a vacation you've booked or christmas that's gonna fucking sting it really is gonna sting so you know hold your head up you know five month severance definitely make sure you can stretch that as long as you can maybe try and stretch that for a year and see where you go from there but yeah i guess the only comfort you can take from this is that it's happening to a lot of people it's not just you know spotify employees i think people in all different sectors are getting their jobs cut and stuff so it definitely isn't personal um but it definitely does feel like it you know there's no way you can't not feel like it's personal so what can you do what can you do